Hello, everyone. It's time for another Tom and Shane podcast, and uh, we're happy to have you along with us. Thank you very much for joining us. And uh, well, today we're going to talk about <laughs> something dear and to all of our hearts. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, we are going to talk about <laughs> what happens if you're audited by the IRS. Uh, what happens if the IRS comes calling? Yeah, that's... Uh, that's not a, a good sign. Uh, and uh, I don't know if any of you have been audited before. I have been several times. So, um, you know, I'm no stranger to uh, sitting down with the IRS and battling it out with them. And uh, so it's a, it's a fun time. Uh, so uh, we want to talk about that today. What happens if you're audited by the IRS, your small business, or, uh, well, even yourself personally? So uh, that's what we're going to get into today. And... Um, we need to start off with what exactly is a tax audit. Many of you probably have heard the term, but, uh, you know, it might be, uh, well, I'm not sure what an audit actually is. Well, when you file your tax return, the uh, IRS looks at it and they're looking for what they call red flags. They're looking for um, deductions that uh, aren't allowable. They're looking for uh, unusual contributions, things like that, all sorts of all sorts of things that will trigger an audit. And uh, so, you know, it, uh, it depends on what you, uh, <laughs> what you put on your tax returns. Now there's all kinds of allowances, deductions, uh, all sorts of things like that. Um, when I was a public speaker, um, I used to speak all over the country and I thought, you know, I ought to be able to deduct my suits because they're, they're a uniform that I use when I do my talks. And uh, the IRS says, no, thank you. Uh, that's uh, it's, it's not a uniform. <laughs> if I was a pilot, yes, I could deduct my uniforms, uh, dry cleaning, all of that, uh, because it's a required uniform for my for my employment. But uh, so so, no, uh, there are certain things that, uh, you know, that you can't uh, take off of your off of your uh, taxes. So um, does an audit automatically mean that you're going to owe the IRS anything? Well, uh, in my case, uh, I was audited three times. Uh, one was a wash, uh, or if you're uh, east of the Mississippi, a wash. And uh, the other uh, one was one I broke even, and the other one I owed a little bit, about 70 bucks or something like that. So... Uh, but uh, yeah, I have been through it. Doesn't automatically mean that you owe the IRS anything. Uh, if you kept good records and all of that, should be no, should be no problem uh, whatso uh, whatsoever. So that uh, is the uh, is the thing. Don't panic just because you receive something from the IRS that says they want to talk to you about your taxes. Doesn't automatically mean that you're going to owe big bucks or they found, uh, you know, unless you put a whole bunch of stuff down that they're not going to allow. But in most cases, I think if you've done your taxes correctly or had them done by a competent tax uh, uh, organization or whatever, then it should be fine. So um, next part we want to talk about is uh, how do you reduce the chances of being audited? Well, uh, that's easy. Well, the first one is make sure you file your taxes. That's the big one. Uh, if you haven't filed your taxes for a year or more, you're eventually begging the IRS to audit you because they're thinking, well, why hasn't this person filed taxes for two or three or four years or whatever? Um, you also need to record every payment, uh, everything that you make, um, keep receipts for, especially if you're self-employed, your income is a big piece of what makes you auditable. So if your income is uh, significantly lower or higher than the average household, it will increase your chances of being audited. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't make money. Uh, absolutely, of course you can. That's why we're a free market system. But, uh, um, you know, check your deductions. Uh, if you made significant charitable contributions, you're eligible for some some deductions, but not all. Uh, the IRS will cut you off on a certain number of, of uh, deductions. And uh, there's also something called the al alternative minimum tax so that uh, they will look at what you reported, what the auto, um, what the uh, minimum tax requirement would be. 
and uh, they may hold you to one or the other, which means you may pay or you might get a refund. So, but anyway, check your deductions. Think of every receipt as being worth about $29 because that's about what it, what it boils down to 29 bucks per receipt. So keep those uh, spotless records. Keep track of your travel. Uh, keep track of, um, you know, your meetings with people, uh, get your, keep an appointment book or keep it on your phone or wherever and make sure that you are always uh, in touch with, uh, you know, what you're, what you're doing. So uh, it's very important that you keep all these deductions, everything, everything should be accounted for all of your receipts, everything, uh, keep all these together and uh, take them. Uh, I, I do it monthly. Um, I get all my receipts together, uh, make an Excel spreadsheet, put it in and uh, you're done. And uh, also go through your credit card statements. If you use credit cards to pay for bills or things like that, uh, business expenses, then uh, make sure that you transfer those off the credit card statement into the spreadsheet, uh, either uh, on your computer or manually. However you do it is fine, but um, make sure that you uh, make sure that you do it. So, so those are the chances. So there's three kinds of audits that you uh, that you might be exposed to. Uh, the first one is a mail audit. Now, th these are most typical and the least invasive kind. Uh, they may be limited to a question from the IRS about a specific deduction or a charitable gift or something like that. And uh, all you need to do is uh, make copies of your records for uh, those donations or gifts or whatever they are and send them in. The second, op uh, second type of audit <laughs> you'll get is the office audit. Easy for me to say. Uh, during an office audit, the IRS will ask you to visit them at their offices, and they may ask you to bring certain files. Now, this is the one that I always did. I went with my CPA. Uh, that's one of the uh, perks of having a CPA is they will go with you and uh, debate the IRS on what's deductible and what's not. And sometimes they um, are able to convince the person that uh, the uh, deduction is, uh, is legitimate. And in some cases, maybe not. And the last one is a field audit. Uh, if something from your records looks suspicious, the IRS may send someone to your home or your business to uh, look things over, to make sure that you you did put an extension on your business or make sure that um, your home office is, a, uh, is truly an office <laughs> or tr truly used as an office. So uh, they may uh, have things like that. So, uh, but don't panic. Uh, you know, you can always uh, justify this. Uh, I had a home office for a number of years and that's, that was one of the things that got me out of it was back in the day, when uh, the internet was first starting and I was one of the people that had an early internet business of selling books and uh, speaking and all of that. So uh, there were uh, various things that I was selling online and a lot of people weren't doing that at that time. So that's, uh, that's how I uh, <laughs> got the red flag from them, so to speak. But uh, luckily uh, using a CPA and everything, when they see that signature at the bottom, uh, sometimes that will uh, say, well, you know, at least the guy went to a legitimate uh, tax uh, preparer and, uh, you know, the, uh, it, it would really have to be a major red flag now uh, for me to uh, uh, for me to uh, have an audit. So, all right, next uh, we've got to talk about how to prepare an audit, how to prepare for an audit. In this case, uh, you're going to need to assemble all the things that you took to the tax attorney or to your uh, CPA or whoever files your taxes. Or if you filed your taxes yourself, then you're going to have to be able to prove the things that you put on your tax return. They are either uh, good or bad or otherwise. And uh, you need to assemble all of that together, uh, all your receipts together, all your payments together, all your meetings together, your appointment book, all of that, your travel, uh, gas allowances, everything uh, to go in and, and prepare for that audit. Now, you can contact the IRS and find out what specifically they're looking at, and you can make sure that you bring the proper documentation for that particular problem. And if that uh, is all they need, then uh, that may uh, do the job. So it should be a, it should be a quick, easy in and out 
uh, if you've kept good records and kept your, uh, you know, all of your records uh, up to date and correct, and uh, you've got documentation of everything that you've done, all your receipts, uh, suppliers, uh, uh, clients, customers, whatever, uh, and have all that, uh, have all that together. Uh, but uh, checking with the IRS and asking if there are items they particularly need uh, is what uh, you would start with. So let's go there. So, all right. Uh, last word on an audit. Uh, as I mentioned at the very beginning, don't panic. Uh, just because uh, you're audited doesn't mean it's the end of the world. Uh, you're, you're not going to lose your home or your uh, business or whatever. Normally you can make a deal with the IRS. If you owe significant amounts of money, uh, you can do what is called an offer and compromise uh, that you can make monthly payments to them. If there's uh, some kind of a discrepancy that uh, turns into big bucks for some reason, uh, that is always possible. So uh, yeah, you can look up on the IRS code, offer and compromise. And in many cases, that's what the uh, people who pay you pay to, uh, you know, deal with the IRS do. Uh, they'll just create an offer and compromise that you can do yourself. And I've done one. And uh, yeah, you say, OK, I can afford to pay X number of, of dollars a month uh, toward this tax bill. And uh, they will uh, they will either accept that or they won't. Or you guys can compromise somewhere in the middle Um so, uh, you know, they want their money, but uh, they also, uh, you know, they, they'd rather get the money than send you to jail. But, <laughs> you know, with certain people, I don't know, Wesley Snipes end up in jail. Willie Nelson doesn't. So I don't know. Uh, you figure it out. So. So. All right. So anyway, that's going to wrap it up for uh, for this. Hey, don't forget. Uh, uh, we're on radio tomorrow. Shane and I. Shane uh, was busy today. So uh, we. uh uh, we just did this uh, with me alone, but uh, hey, don't forget to uh, subscribe, ring the notification bell and like us and leave a comment. Uh, they like all that stuff. Also, we're on Patreon. Uh, you can, If you're a business owner, we have lots of uh, benefits for you to support this channel. Uh, personal uh, interaction with uh, Shane and myself, uh, business help, questions, uh, anything we can do to help you, we certainly will. And uh, so... Uh, that's in the description below. And uh, also, um, don't forget our website, TomAndShane.com. We are over there. And, of course, um, we are also on radio. And we are on radio tomorrow. Uh, we'll, we'll be on Saturday from 8 to 11. You can listen to us anywhere in the world at uh, KMMSAM.com. KMMSAM.com. And uh, no information needed, nothing to sign up for, nothing to join, nothing to uh, put anything on. Uh, you don't need any, uh, you don't need anything. <laughs> you just come over and listen. You can call us, you can text us, you can do all kinds of things like that. If you missed any of our podcasts or any of our radio shows, they're all at KMMSAM.com as well. Click on Tom and Shane's podcast and they'll take you right over there to it. And you can uh, pick and choose uh, whatever shows or uh, podcast uh, you want to explore. So, uh, all right, that's going to wrap it up. And uh, we'll see you on the radio tomorrow at e, uh, 8 a.m. Mountain Time, kmmsam.com. Bye for now.